All right, Keys, here we are. Hello there. So I'm excited. You know, you left a message about where you're at with your portfolio. I'm just going to switch over to that while I'm talking. Um, yes. I'm excited to see where your portfolio is at, you know, how far it's come. There's some really promising stuff in here. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like you're on your way. I mean, just even from the beginning when you were getting started, I remember like how promising your work was. It's really cool to see you in the class. Um, I don't know. Like, how, do, how are you feeling about your portfolio? Portfolio. You mentioned you were ready for application to Riot Games, but uh, what do you uh, think? Well, how I'm feeling, actually, what you mentioned, like, uh, how I've started, like, I contacted you, like, around one and a half years ago mm -hmm. with three of my effects, and I was like, hey, can you give me some feedback? And... Uh, the feedback that you gave me, I, uh, actually with a lot of feedback that I get, I can even make like the effect better. I have the feeling because mm -hmm. I'm always thinking creatively like, okay, uh, he's saying like, let the uh, colors pop more. So how can I actually uh, go beyond those feedback points? Like how can we even make it better, better, better with the feedback? Mm -hmm. And right now my portfolio is at a point I'm really happy what I've done. I've worked on... Uh, two amazing games already as a visual effects artist. One is Lethal League Blaze, that's just frame-by-frame -frame animation. And this is uh, Blightbound, so that's frame-by-frame uh, -frame with 3D elements. Mm -hmm. and yeah, I'm actually very happy with it. Like, the game is out, I'm updating my portfolio, I'm just like, yes, this is, this is the way I want to go. This is how I feel as a visual effects artist. And this is what I want to portray, uh, who I am uh, through effects, yeah. So which project at Riot is most exciting to you to apply to, or, or do they all appeal to you in different ways? Uh, well, I, I just really like the style of Riot games, and like in an, actually like in a whole like uh, concept. But the thing, uh, let's say League of Legends is one of my most excited projects that I want, wanted to work on because I started, uh, wanted to becoming a game artist because of League of Legends. and yeah. In my free time, I always create effects that kind of uh, that I want to reach the League of Legends kind of style, so the stylized uh, aspect of it. Yeah, mm -hmm. concepting I like to do also, so just drawing and see how I can make the brightest impact frame of the visual effects and start from there in Unity. All right, so I I guess then we'll just dive in as specifically as i can like you yes. know that you're going for league of legends and then i'll give feedback based on that so it seems like from my estimation um oh these are cool these weren't in that initial video w which video should i be looking at to get sort of a holistic view of your uh videos? i think all these videos over here uh i'm very proud of it and I think like it brings the best uh, in me forward. So this is uh, who I am as a visual effects artist. A bit of 2D uh, frame of frame sometimes and 3D mm -hmm. aspects. And I think this tab uh, overall is just like I wanted to reach kind of the League of Legends level. And for example, the Blightbound project is more, uh, uh, let's say, like the experience I have as a visual effects artist. Well, this one's really nice. Okay, so I think my recommendation to, like, if I were in a review today, and it's been almost six months since I've been in such a meeting, because <laughs> yeah. I'm not right anymore. <laughs> but if I were in your portfolio review, I would say, yes, let's get him in here as a junior effects artist. Oh, really? That would be my recommendation. Um, Oh, wow, that's actually great to hear. <laughs> if I mean, there's things, there's things that you could do because if if one artist is willing to recommend you as a junior, there is a possibility that other artists might disagree because, like, you know, that's like the minimum tier. Um, what gets really exciting is when artists are like thinking of you as like a mid level, and they're like, yeah, like let's get him in here as a mid level artist. You know, yeah. And exactly. So I want to focus on why I would go with junior and not mid level, so that you can polish even more if you'd like. You mentioned that you wanted to be applying uh, in a few months, right? 
or yeah exactly right somewhere around well actually i want to apply uh like the state of after this review I'll, I'll have like a much brighter view of what i want to do and where i'm at and then mm -hmm. from there on i'll i want to do like the final tweak slash polish and then somewhere at the end of november maybe beginning next year uh, i'll just it's also like uh okay. yeah it's a yeah, difficult uh, also but yeah i think that's the best way to uh see how and what uh, and when let me uh let me switch this over here whoops that's my green screen oh, <laughs> oh no okay so um let's see pull this up i've got i actually get get my notepad to yeah. write down some of the points I just found this new tool that I'm really excited about to use. Today. Oh. It's called Epic Pen, and it lets me draw over my screen. Like oh, a, really? Oh, like that's really cool. Sportscaster. <laughs> so it's kind of like uh, with the UC, uh, when for two fighters, they're going to like analyze it, and it's like this yeah, arrow. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's exactly that's really what it cool. Is. Okay, so we're going to see if this works. Okay. Yes. So let's come in here and... Um, a few thumbnails duh, are pretty so, weird with the resolution, but yeah. I'll start with this one. Now, what I would do, and I'm just going to get really specific because that's kind of the level that you're at where you've, you've got some interesting stuff going on and you need to do a polish pass on each of these. Yes. So all the stuff I'm recommending is that final... I would say 25%. That is the oftentimes the most challenging part that you really want to pay attention to. Yeah, I agree. Okay, so for this, I feel like the motion in the core, let's see if I can get this going here. The motion in the core of this uh, element, it needs a little more interest to it. Um, the flipbook itself is not particularly interesting which which is not always terrible there's a way there's a few ways to fix that um one might be to like take parts of it and like break it into smaller sections yes. and then like scale them out as they animate like you know so uh, yeah you don't have this one continuous um Right now you have one long piece that's very recognizable. Every time this shows up, when it's rotated, it's like that same long piece, you know, and it, you just see that same shape everywhere. So yeah. what I would recommend is maybe doing like a couple of flip books, you know, like that section, that section, and that section maybe. And that's going to give you a lot more flexibility of how those are rotated and it's going to add a lot more variety in there. And also what it'll do is it'll allow you to like scale them from a center point where they're like, you know, kind of growing out. Maybe they're like slightly rotating. Maybe they're like, some of them are scaling a little skinnier. Some of them are a little fatter and there's more variety in that central motion. Cause right now it's a very repetitive and simple motion. That's not super engaging. Yeah. Well, I actually tried it with an, uh, a recent effect. I tried out to scale out the electric and push it more outwards. So it's like, and it goes outward, mm -hmm. uh, outwards, and it works pretty well. So I totally agree with that. Yeah, um, Jin Yang did that on Rek'Sai with her electricity. It's actually okay. a very simple sprite sheet. It's just four sprites. And it's just little arch like a simple little arch like that or like a little curve or a little counter curve okay. and then we use that everywhere actually and he like scales it and moves it out in a random rotation and like um you can do a lot with it there but you've also got nice motion of the flicker in the flip book and so you could do something really interesting there okay nice okay so the you know I don't think that the sphere in the middle is serving it well. I would go for a particle instead. Um, Cause that's like the focal point. That's like, you're drawing the eye and everything there. And then <laughs> it's just this like, letdown, <laughs> you know? Yeah. 
Um, I try, actually try to do it maybe like it's a character that you're it's standing in there and it's getting damaged but yeah I, I can understand like if you if you have a character you can throw in there that's great but in the absence of that you have to think of like you know making it feel like you really know how to bring it all together and putting something temp and placeholder in a show reel for a major studio generally doesn't show super well Okay. So it's like, you know, make a composition sing that includes the environment or the character. And if you don't have an environment or a character, your environment's perfect. It's just blank. But the character being blank like that, where it's also a focal point, uh, it's kind of weird. Yeah, okay. I would say, like, make that into some kind of interesting motion. Like, maybe this is um, a Lux W. Her W is the AOE, right? Or is that her E? Uh, I think that's the E, where the uh gr the circle on the ground, right? And it's yeah, building yeah. up, and it's like I think that's okay. the E. Too. I know what you're talking about, yeah. Yeah. So I more know. like uh, it's been a while since I played Buck. Yeah. <laughs> is it more like magic power that's just like uh in the middle of the uh uh the area? You would say. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. I mean, that's one way to take it. If you have a character to put in there, that's great. But yeah, in the absence of having a character, that's what I would say. Okay, so then then comes the electric shimmer around the perimeter, which you, you've got really nice shapes in here. Uh, you know, this is really nice coming down through here. The trouble that I'm seeing is, uh, number one, you need to get rid of the tessellation on your, your sphere. Um, so like, you know, maybe smooth that mesh. Oh, okay. So it's more of a smooth curve around here. Uh, that's number one. Number two would be figure out a way and like as you change that tessellation, this like opens up opportunities for you to maybe do vertex offset. Oh yeah, that's cool. Or something. Cause right now the silhouette is this really hard line and it's it's noticeable. <laughs> Yeah, the shape is not very interesting if I'm looking yeah, at it right it's now. Not, it's not working for you. In the class, also, we have like an electric thing that goes around the ground. Um, you could like follow along with that lesson and how we created that, or follow along with that, that asset and see what's going on there. We do some flip books that are like down along the edge. That's going to help break the silhouette as well as you put things in like this around it. Yeah, exactly. Um, now, this is going to lean more towards electricity. Did you intend for it to be an arcade thematic? Uh, I'm seeing this just like on uh, arcade final boss. Yeah, uh, yeah. because I saw like a video also of Kevin Leroy. Uh, he was mm -hmm. showing like how to create a mesh that goes into the ground and mm -hmm. like ignoring basically like the ground plane. So mm -hmm. you have the feeling you're getting warped into the actual skill, kind of like what Malazar's ultimate with arcade uh, was. Right. So if you want to pick a thematic, right now it's kind of electricity and video game. But yep. uh, picking a thematic might be good where, you know, maybe you have like little pixels that are kind of like <sighs> drif Ooh, drifting yeah. outward as well instead of the electricity. You don't want to do pixels and electricity coming out on the ground. That could be really bad. <laughs> um, but yeah, just okay. something something to flesh it out there. Uh, I think the ground crack is nice and subtle, but it's maybe it's the video quality. I think this is worth re-recording because recording it in high def would be really nice so that we can see the crisp cracks coming out here. Yeah, it's also uh, this effect is, let's say, one and a half year old. So a lot of things that I did over here, I'll do better. And you'll see mm -hmm. my uh, next uh, work that is a lot better. But it's also, for example, with the shaders from the Visual Effects Apprentice, uh, I could do a lot more because my technical uh, side of Visual Effects is not very good, but the creative side is, that's, I can do a lot with the technical stuff. Yeah, that's that's perfect because on League of Legends, the shader's already built for you too. So oh, okay. <laughs> using the shader so, to do what you need to. Um, at the time that I left the company, I don't think they had Vertex Offset, but okay. 
they want to get it. <laughs> <laughs> they might have it now. That was okay. on the list. <laughs> it was on the list. But so, but yeah, using vertex offset, that's a very cheap uh, material operation. So it's actually kind of a no-brainer. They should have it, but they don't. <laughs> it's complicated. Yeah, um, no problem. Oh well. So yeah, so that would be that effect. From far away, by the way, it feels really nice. It really does. Yeah, it's um, very readable too for my feeling. Like exactly. See. And so those things that you're gonna be changing are, are just gonna be that polish, like I was saying. Yeah. I think the most proud effect from all these effects, and those are recently, are uh, the one left underneath, kind of, kind of like the Cosmos Explosion Star yeah, Guardian type. I, I agree, and that's great that you recognize that, because this, to me, it just really feels quite nice. I, I, I definitely, I still want to like polish like the, the impact frame, more like, let's say, the inner part of the impact frame, the spike, it will be cool to have like a, a very dark uh, color. And then when it pops out, it's like, bam. But yeah, I'm still super happy with yeah. it. Yeah, I like, it's just all coming together. I think, man, it's even hard to nitpick at all, but... The, the <laughs> Sorry. let me see if I can find. Oh, the video is not cooperating. Okay, so these pur these purple puffs, these right here, I think you could tweak the motion, um, maybe just a little bit. Like right now, they they kind of drift very evenly as they they slide out. Oh, okay, yeah. And so you know maybe. Maybe they start slowing down. Okay, kind of like a damp on, uh, on the... Yeah, uh, on the physics on those. So that they're not just like going clear out here. Maybe they'll, they'll only make it to here because they're... Yeah. Or something. Um, but that's what else, picky. What I also like about this effect is... Uh, this effect was created with kind of like a creative implosion. I was just sitting and I was like... Oh my god, this would be awesome. I was just like creating the effect. It was all in my head. I was like, mm -hmm. normally I create concept art, and then within like one hour, two hours, I got this. And I was like, oh my god, I love this. <laughs> I was mm. just, yeah. Sometimes it just it, happens. Yeah. yeah was... Sorry, my oh. son. <laughs> little kid. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, I I would say this is very successful. It's a nice soft poof, which sometimes you need a soft poof that is just kind of feels more like nice impact and ambient and then it's gone. Um, something like Syndra throwing her ball or something like yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. So that's great. Okay, so yeah, these are improved from before when I gave you notes, I remember. Yeah, it was uh, it was a lot of notes, so it's pretty cool to like see it all come together after the notes, mm -hmm. because this one was first very linear. I think this one has color struggles that you can address. Um, red is very hard, so yeah. ad additive red. I think you can enhance it by adding a dark burnt orange, or maybe even close to black. Oh, yeah. behind some of those reds um it's good that you have it going to orange in some places but if you want that red to really come through and to feel impactful and threatening um kevin leroy does a great job with this on um the any on senna name? on high noon well he does all he does it on a lot of them oh high noon but, and senna is amazing yeah. yeah high noon senna you know he pushes it probably too far <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy sometimes For, because because of clarity you know when you have really high contrast like that um it's pretty intense but hey people love the intensity i just can't stand playing against it because it's so overpowering and i'm like i can't see anything else these <laughs> abilities. but that's maybe just me um but for showing off in a reel and showing that you can like you know bring in the intensity with those darks yeah. To complement the additive. At the end here, it feels really great because you've got the darks in there. But I think you can find ways. Maybe it's uh maybe you put like dark smoke on the first half, like mm, kind of yeah. dark smoke behind it, kind of ambiently coming out. 
and figure out some kind of interesting motion with that dark smoke. Oh yeah, that would be interesting. With a kind of like a nice dissolve on the smoke. Yeah. Yeah, the, 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 the sad thing about this effect is I wanted to like recently uh, try to look at it. Like how did I build it up like one year ago, but it was corrupted. So I need to fix it somehow. Yeah, oh, it's no. pretty sad. But yeah, it's like, it's still got a lot of videos. So, but uh, okay. redoing it would also be like funny because I've learned so much during my, my work on Blightbound, also about colors and that kind of stuff. Yeah. And you still have the textures. Right? Yeah, so. I, the textures I still have, so I maybe can create it, a new version of it. Cool. Good old Star Guardian. Yeah, I feel like with this one, the biggest trouble I'm having is that I can see that cylinder mesh very yeah. clearly. You want to avoid giving away the secret. So I would say... Yeah, it's just a very hard edged mesh. You can fix some of that with Fresnel. You can fix the rest of it with like adding a perpendicular mesh. So like a disc on the ground that sits beneath it. Oh, okay, yeah. That kind of like, like an a, energy, yeah, uh, okay. Yeah, that has like a texture with like a hot core. Like this, you know? And the hot core like fades off as it gets out towards the edge. And so by having that set up, this mesh and then your cylinder sits on top of that, right? Uh, it blends in more, yeah. Yeah. Kind of like a top hat. It's a top hat <laughs> with, the, with the, uh, also a brim that comes inside of the top hat. Okay. That's a great... That's a great one though. Yeah. So that's a good, easy trick for covering up that edge of that mesh down there. Yes. At the bottom. For sure. Uh, let's see, as far as timing goes, it's pretty satisfying. It's a little pillowy, which maybe isn't terrible. It's kind of like, ah, oh, I got hit with something happy. Um, <laughs> Cute. If you wanted to make it feel more threatening, you could probably just add a more intense flash frame or something. Like it's probably just missing that like, bam, like sharp, spiky core of something. Um, that's probably how you would make that feel a little more threatening. Also, the colors get washed out. So um, I would look at color depth as as you go, just because the yellows are washing out here. It's like just kind of all yellow. Yeah, like, and yeah, I, totally, I agree. And like yeah. The yellow is like kind of killing the pink, and then it switches to kind of this really washed out. Like especially these are kind of blown out. Um, I think your glow on these is too cranked up. So like, whoops. So when you're when you're working on these textures, right? the the glow around it if it's too intense it makes this all feel blurry and so you want like a very subtle 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 glow in your texture so that this crisp edge of of your texture still shows up yeah does that make okay. sense yeah yeah i think that's like the thing um uh, because the I actually I have to like turn it around in my uh, project folder that like these effects are underneath and my better effects are on the top because if you would compare this to these smoke explosions with these stars uh that with these smoke explosions uh I actually use the same stars but I reduce like the uh the glows yep. on it and it works much better and that's what mm -hmm. I've learned already in over the one and a half years like damn exactly. like clarity and that kind of stuff and not yeah. too much glow because too much glow will just be like a weird as blob. Totally agree with you. Uh, let's go to this one. This is one that you did really recently. Oh yeah. It's... Um, I, I really like it. So actually I think it's great. The one thing I would say is you need a redesign on the decal just because it's a little busy for league of legends. Um, there's a yeah, lot well, of yeah. like uh, highlight green and then very dark and then highlight and then dark and then high like, what that does is it creates a lot of contrast. 
Okay. So like, um, yeah, all this little detail in here can be simplified, simplified, simplified. Pull up some League of Legends decals for reference to see how they make them simpler. The one thing you did really nicely is that there's a gradient coming yeah. into here. Um, and it fades off to like this dark, subtle thing. So I would keep that. That's really, really nice how you have it like more subtle here and then very prominent on the outer edge. That part about it is perfect and beautiful. I'm only okay. talking about the design of the lines themselves and that yeah, you that, don't need yeah. this much detail and complexity. There was also like a moment I was creating the decal and I went so much into details because it's not really my comfort zone. I was like, actually, I want to try and push myself and go my comfort zone and create mm -hmm. decals. But I think I went a bit uh, too far. Uh, yeah, <laughs> no, this one. better that you go too far than not far enough. So that's a big, uh, that's probably the only thing on this. I actually really like this effect quite a bit. The subtle smoke and all the stuff going on. Uh, I like the color palette itself is really nice. Yes. And I'm so, so happy that with colors, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this one this one feels really good. I think the glow um, is too intense when like the ring appears. I think the, the glow on the ring is lingering too long. Yeah. If you know what I mean. I think so. I think you could have like a nice intense hit of the brightness that it is, but then very, very quickly get it to settle down. Um, okay. That would be wise because then for gameplay reasons it's not too crazy yeah, this effect is a bit faster to adjust because it's in the current uh, shaders that i've created so that's nice i'm just so happy with the effect it's i have a lot yeah, of uh, problems be. with uh, yellow and green colors so you should be really happy with that that's great i like it Let's look at this. I'm skipping around. Oh, no problem. This guy. Okay. So yeah, you know, it's a nice, it's a nice simple hit effect. I think there's some things you can do to just add some, some love. These little bits over here that are flying off, they all travel about the same distance and they live about the same time. I would just switch that up. Some of them yeah. fall short. Some of them go far. The some lifetime. of them live for a while. Some of them die really quick. Awesome. I think the colors are a little weird. It's like I'm seeing this yellowish green in there that seems out of place. I don't know what that's coming from. There's like when it first hits, there's like a yellowish green little piece and it's clipping through him. That's the okay. other thing. Offset towards camera is your friend here. I think you could offset towards camera so that that hot core of the effect is visible yeah exactly so the, it's uh, in front of the character you mean mm -hmm. it's the, yeah. okay just on the core hit effect parts i think it's fine to have some of the effect clipping through them like maybe smoke and those bits and things but sometimes you just really want that hit impact to read really nice and satisfying in the front yeah i think with these points i can also like really make it more satisfying give it a more juiciness uh, feeling to it yeah but that yellow really is distracting for me i don't know if yeah I yellows and greens are pretty uh difficult for me yet. yeah well you're nailing the red here then i know you're struggling with the red before so i believe in you you can you can learn greens too yeah exactly yeah it's, oh, i missed it by a frame no Oh, there it was again. Oh, well. So, yeah. I would yeah, say I kill, kill the yellowish thing. I think this palette of red and black just kind of works nice on its own. You don't... Like, maybe you could push it to more of an orangish flash. But going all the way to yellow, it feels weird to me. Okay. So I, more I think, maybe orange slash reddish? On that one that blinks. Not this frame, but like the one that... Blinks as like a green right now. Yeah, maybe orangish reddish uh, would probably harmonize better with the rest of it. Okay. I'm getting super detailed because these are really good. And I feel like uh, the uh, only thing you. I can do is just be very specific. 
I normally with students give very like general advice, but you're so far along that I'm like, look, I mean, he's so close anyway, just get him the rest of the way there. Yeah, I think like the first three effects that you did are pretty difficult because that's like an older uh, Unity version and a lot of it's corrupted. So I try to fix yeah. that, but the newer ones, I actually want to bring more in front and really show what I can do with yeah. like the I last one and a half reel, years. I think you can show these in a demo reel at the end. I don't think it's that bad of an idea. Definitely put the nice ones first and top. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay, so for this one, again, it's going a little too far yellow. Typically, when you I go that far yellow, yellow <laughs> you go desaturated. Okay. Also, like the velocity align is breaking, unfortunately, because of the way they're orbiting. Yeah, I was like was really weird trying to how to fix that, but I couldn't like come come out of it. Maybe on the the uh, the forum, somebody knows it. Yeah, I bet you could find out. I bet if you yes. posted like trouble with velocity aligning, just have this as the thumbnail as a GIF. Yeah, exactly. People are totally going to uh, comment on that. Okay, so the yellow is a bit too saturated. Typically with fire, the yellow is the most desaturated part. And then by the time it gets to the reddish colors, it's more saturated. That's like one way to manage it. Right now, it's also evenly highly saturated that it's not convincing me that it's fire. The other thing that would convince me that it's fire is smoke. And I know you have like a subtle bit of smoke, but I really think you could lay it on a little thicker okay. um, to like bump up that hot leading edge. Because right now it's it's got the same issue as the sphere fire did where it's this sort of pale color with nothing to make it like feel like it's hot and intense. And so, you so know, like that's... thicker smoke maybe for the backdrop color. So you have like more the, the bright colors in front of it. Y yes. So like not, you don't want to go too thick on the smoke. Probably it might get a little too crazy, but just bumping up, enough of it so that there's some smoke to accent that leading edge. So let me draw this real quick. Okay. So oh my son, <laughs> we're working on getting some soundproof doors in here. But uh, I don't mind. Just enough. I know he's amazing, but it kind of <laughs> it's a little <laughs> distracting. Um, so yeah, the smoke would just kind of show up like this, you know, Let's something see. like that. Ah, okay. Where, you know, the very bright tip of it is still going to be its own thing out on the leading edge, but then it kind of has this stuff like kind of billowing back from it a little bit. And by the time it gets back here, it's pretty faded. Okay. Um, that's going to feel good. Also, if there's any way that you can get like definition in here, maybe you could overlay some like dark red little bits or something that are going to kind of pop out from that, like just really subtle. Like you know? small uh, embers maybe? Like Yeah. Like you don't want to go additive, additive, additive. So like you've already got a good additive core. What I'm talking about is like some translucent, or masked or something just like oh, okay bits that kind of come come back a little like burnt bits and and that'll add just more of like a a nice motion into there okay yeah yeah the hit effect hit effect feels nice it's a lot like Aurelian soul yeah i was inspired by that because i wanted actually to create like a new let's say like brand in league of legends would need like official graphics updates i first started like how would this basic attack look like but then i turned out like this i don't know how but i was like okay maybe this and then yeah i was just having fun with creating the effects and yeah it worked out so well so yeah cool. well this uh yeah this one is uh the the effect i'm currently busy with it's also very out of my comfort zone uh, we're running a little low on time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I do need to go in a minute. But 
I think generally you're in really good shape. I, I like the spikes here. I would just recommend refining the timing on those. Um, they kind of just pop out and they feel kind of unrefined, like the motion and everything else is so slick. So yeah, I would just say you're on track. Let's, let's stay in touch and let me know when you've done another pass on this. I'll, give it a once over and uh, definitely yeah, awesome. post in the discord and on the forum inside the class. I think you're just really doing really well keys. This is really cool. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, you're in good shape. Just a few more touches. And I think you're going to secure an even better chance of success on that. For sure. Awesome. For sure. Really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. No problem. No problem. You have yourself an amazing day. Yeah, you too. Thank All you right. very much. Okay. We'll see ya. <laughs>